Hi, Kazim here. Uh, welcome to Tech Talk Shots, where I record Azure topics under 180 seconds. Uh, I got a question from someone asking how to clone an Azure VM. And that exactly is what this video is going to be about. So let's check it out. All right. So the first thing we'll need to do is to take a snapshot of your available disk. I've covered this step in another video. So if you'd like to learn how to create snapshots, I suggest you check out the video in the description where I talked about what a snapshot is and how to create one. And please note that if the plan is to clone an entire VM, then you will need to take a snapshot of all the disks attached to that particular VM. So please check out that video in the description. Our step two is to create a managed disk from the snapshot. So to do that, I can look up the snapshots. So I either search for snapshots, and it is this one right here. Uh, I'll use client to snapshots. So as you can see from here, I can create my disk. So I'll give my managed disk a name, client to manage disk, and go ahead and review and create. Keep in mind that you have to follow the same steps if you plan to create a managed disk for your data disk. I'll click on go to resources. And the final step here is for us to uh, create a new VM from that managed disk that we have. So I'll click on create VM. I'll go ahead and give my VM a name. Um, you don't have to maintain the same name as the old VM, as the original VM. So you can give it any name of your choice here. How about I call this client to clone? So give it a name of your choice and um, move next to the disk blade. And from here, there are two ways of doing this. So you can do this by attaching an existing disk, or you can just still go right ahead and click on create an attached disk. So in this case, uh, I'll give the disk a name. So give it a name of your choice again. And the source type here is going to be snapshots. So I'll select my snapshot from the list. Select client to and go right ahead and create the VM. And then you can go right ahead and create this VM. So you can check, I can try to connect to the VM now. We've now successfully cloned our client to. If this is useful, be kind enough to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for taking the time and I'll see you again in the next one. Wow.